In this video, we're going to test out the diesel tack. Take a little look at what we got in here before I take the dashboard apart. Look, like we got an extra switch up there. We got a probably a tuning select knob there on the bottom. Nothing over here, everything's stock. It's already got an aftermarket boost gauge and a temperature gauge. Almost 370,000 miles. Could be 470,000, who knows. Got some pretty typical damage on this instrument cluster bezel. Hopefully I don't make it any worse. This side's just the same. All right, very, very, very carefully, I took the uh, instrument cluster bezel off. And I pulled the lower uh, dash cover bezel thing. So ultimately I need to get in there and unhook the shift cable so I can get the instrument cluster out. All right, boys and girls, got the instrument cluster out. All we got to do now is make it work with mine. Looking at the back side of the cluster, these are for the tachometer right here. The center pin is the signal wire coming in and the trace goes over here. So it's the second wire up from the bottom. Okay, we're looking at the factory Ford uh, electrical manual. This manual is actually for a 1996 truck. Uh, his truck's a 1997, but we can at least see if it matches what we have. So this is the uh, instrument cluster, and we're looking at the tachometer for a gasoline model and with a diesel model. Um, tachometer here, uh, signal wire, um, pin number nine, which is the same pin, pin out on the connector on the back of the uh, instrument cluster. Um, white with the pink is the wire goes straight to the powertrain control module and similarly on a, a gasoline model it's a uh, pin number nine same connector white with the pink but uh, on these trucks it doesn't go to the uh, the powertrain control module it goes to the ignition system all right I'm back inside the truck with the instrument cluster out and we'll see if we can do this here this connector here plugs into the right side of the cluster directly behind the tack. See if I can turn this here, see if we can zoom in. All right, pin number nine, second up from the bottom. It's a white with a pink, just like the book said. So that's the wire we got to tap in for the tack signal. Definitely the tax signal. Well, I got her hooked up, but it ain't working. I gotta figure out what's going on. All right, so after a brief break to get something to eat and clear my head, I started thinking about the back of the circuit board. You notice up in the top right, there's a yellow jumper wire right here. Earlier, I didn't have that connected. Um, I had forgotten since I this is just a test board, I didn't assemble everything that should be on it. So it was missing a switch that did a job. So I had to put that jumper wire in there. And that actually solved the problem. 
So I went ahead and taped everything up and I'm going to see if I can hang this thing on the dashboard somewhere and take it for a test drive. All right, I know this is pretty ghetto looking, but this is just a test. So I'm going to crank the truck up and we're going to take it down the road a little bit. Apologize for the shaky video. I'm just hand holding this camcorder for now. All right, here we go. After reviewing the video from the test, I noticed the, uh, there was a discrepancy in my tachometer reading versus the tachometer in the truck, the factory tachometer. That's partly due to the fact I didn't know the exact uh, uh, frequency to uh, RPM output of the PCM on the truck, so I was kind of guessing off the factory tach. After posting the update photo on Facebook, uh, I mentioned that I didn't know the exact uh, parameters of the tach signal coming from the PCM. Somebody commented with some information they got from all data. Uh, the information that they posted was that the uh, the uh, the tachometer signal from the PCM is uh, basically a cleaned up signal that is generated by the camshaft position sensor. The camshaft position sensor uh, reads the windows in the uh, camshaft sprocket, and he he mentioned that there was a uh, uh, 24 windows on the camshaft sprocket, which would give you to uh, what which would come out to uh, 12 pulses per crankshaft revolution and doing some math um, at uh, 2500 RPMs the, uh, the tachometer signal will be 500 Hertz and if you look back at the video uh, or actually when I was reviewing the video I noticed when the factory tachometer read uh, 2500 RPMs my tachometer was reading 2200 RPM so it was off just a little bit. So I have my test board in here and I have my uh, frequency, my signal generator over there set to 500 Hertz and I'm gonna uh, power up my board and turn the signal generator on and hook it up and we'll check out the reading. Okay, so we have a 500 hertz signal coming from the signal generator going into my tachometer. And 500 hertz from the information that I found from the comment on the Facebook post, after doing some math, would be the equivalent of 2500 RPMs. So right now, at 500 hertz, my tachometer is showing 2200 RPMs, which correlates to what happened in the test on when I did the road test in the truck. So all I have to do is reset that to read 2500 RPMs and we'll be good to go. There it is, 500 hertz and we're reading 2500 RPM. 
Let me dial in 800 hertz and we should get 4,000 4, RPM. There we go, spot on. I think that's it guys, I think we're good to go for the 7.3 liter power stroke. Okay, so all in all, not a bad test. I've successfully uh, hooked up to the signal coming from the PCM to drive the TAC. Just got a little bit of a calibration issue. Um, I got to do some more research, find out what the exact uh, frequency to uh, RPM signal is coming out of that uh, PCM. But other than that, I think we're good to go. A couple things to fine tune and that's about it. I just want to thank Mr. Raylan for letting me borrow his truck for the day to test this thing out. Thanks, Raylan. When I get this thing recalibrated, I'll probably get with you and we'll do it again.